ஹானரபிள் சீஃப் மினிஸ்டர் திரு எம் கே ஸ்டாலின் சார் வணக்கம் வி ஆல் ஹேப்பன் டு ரீட் யுவர் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் தட் இஸ் புட் அவுட் அந்த சோஷியல் மீடியா ஹேண்டில் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ யுவர் சன் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் தட் இஸ் புட் அவுட் அந்த சோஷியல் மீடியா ஹேண்டில் இட் இஸ் குட் தட் போத் ஆஃப் யூஆர் டோனிங் டவுன் அண்ட் போத் ஆஃப் யூ நோ தட் யூஆர் ஃபைட்டிங் எ லூசிங் பேட்டில் ஓவர் த லாஸ்ட் த்ரீ ஃபோர் டேஸ் அண்ட் டுடே நாட் ஓன்லி ஹாவ் யூ டிஃபெண்டட் சம்திங் பட் ஆல்சோ You have spoken some lies against our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi Ji. I believe it is my bounden duty as a BJP Karya Karta to respond to that. I am sure with the way our Honorable Prime Minister is working with the integrity and with his hard work, even as we speak now, he is in Indonesia promoting our national interest. And immediately September 9 and 10, the G20 meeting that is going to happen where India will be at the center stage of global map. so please don't bother our prime minister to respond to your unfounded false and diabolical allegations sir at the outset you mentioned sanadana dharma which essentially itself practices discrimination that is why your movement is founded sir i would like to take back you to two eminent leaders who were born out of your movements one is the great leader from the scheduled caste community mr mc raja do you know sir why did he quit justice party in 1923 a great dalit leader mc raja he quit justice party in 1923 because he said the very founding principle of justice party is not in tune with what they practice justice party when they came into existence they said they want to abolish the brahmanical domination in tamil nadu that was their allegation from the justice party mc raja said the so called brahmanical domination is replaced by the upper caste hindu domination there is no space for an sc leader inside the justice party that is why painfully he quit in 1923 i am sure sir you will not have missed out madam satyavani muttu she was the first dalit woman minister from tamil nadu 1974 right inside the tamil nadu assembly as a member of your father's cabinet she leveled serious allegations against mr karunanidhi inside the assembly stating that mr karunanidhi is against the interest of dalit community and sc community the funds are not being given so she has got certain misgivings and inside the assembly in the indian history we never seen a minister complaining against her own chief minister what is the price madam satyavani muttu got she was dismissed from the ministry and later she was removed from the party also these are some of the instances where i can give you in the early part of your movement how dalit leaders were treated right inside your party when you say that you are here to abolish certain ills of sanatana dharma and to promote equality it is like satan talking about vedas to the god so please don't get into the territory sir that is my humble submission to you also sir you mention the dmk as a party is very progressive anyone who is looking at your cabinet current cabinet now out of 35 ministers three ministers are from the sc community two women ministers do you call this as progressive less than 10% and all the brothers and sisters who have come from the sc community you have given some minor portfolios to them insignificant portfolios look at our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji's current cabinet i am just doing a basic comparison out of the 79 ministers 20 ministers are from the scst community 11 ministers are women 5 ministers are from the minority community i am sure sir you will clearly understand that you really don't practice what you preach even if i take uttar pradesh out of 52 ministers 9 ministers are from the scst community so you don't give them political rights you don't give them political powers then what are you talking about improving the standards of the oppressed community again i would like to bring certain things for your recall sir in tirunelveli when the manjole tea workers protested when they were brutally killed because of the police action when they jumped into the tamrabarani river close to 17 people got killed including a month old child when the action was sought against the police officer what did your father kalinger karnanidhi say he said no if i take action against some police officers their community will feel offended so i am not going to take action so dmk as a party is run on caste lines 
DMK as a party is meant to promote caste in Tamil Nadu. That is why more than any other part of India, Tamil Nadu sees the highest number of caste violence. Tamil Nadu sees the highest number of caste conflict. Tamil Nadu has got the highest number of caste fault lines, including the latest research says the prevalence of two tumbler system is one of the highest in Tamil Nadu. That is why we had a shameful spectacle last year when during the Independence Day under your regime, many Panjayat leaders belonging to SC community were not allowed to host their flag. And we raised a big agitation and demonstration for that. So what are you talking, sir? Sanandana Dharma by its very nature is timeless. It doesn't have an origin, doesn't have an end. Sanadana Dharma predates any religion. Sanadana Dharma, as a Dharma, it believes a human being is a God. It also, not only human beings, it looks at all the living beings. By its very nature, it treats everybody equally. Of course, there are humans inside every religion. Some of the discriminative practices are brought out by humans. When one human brings out a discriminative practice within a Sanadana Dharma, the other human beings great saints and reformers, they come within the Sanadana Dharma, they give a voice against the discrimination and try and abolish it. That is why we have Swami Sakajananda. That is why we have Dayanand Saraswati. That is why we have some of the greatest reformers within the Tamil Hindu society who are the crusaders to remove some of the ill effects brought inside the Sanadana Dharma by human beings. For that, your son wants to eradicate Sanadana Dharma itself. It clearly shows what little understanding you have about Sanadana Dharma and your son's understanding about Sanadana Dharma. This is the land of all wars and Nayanmars. Not about all wars and Nayanmars per se. Out of the 63 Nayanmars, 17 Nayanmars are Brahmins. What about the rest of the community? Many Nayanmars come from the oppressed community. We worship them as saints. This is the spiritual land. Out of all wars, three all wars are Brahmins. Where are the rest of the all wars come from? They come from oppressed community. So what are you talking about? This is a God where a person who is belonging to the oppressed community is treated as a God. We worship them. And any small issues that is happening within the Sanadana Dharma that is purely the creation of some human beings, other great saints and reformers, they come and abolish it within the Sanadana Dharma itself. Please don't practice what you preach. Your son, he calls himself a practicing Christian in December 2022. Now he says he doesn't have any faith over it. In the Sanadana Abolition Conference, your HRNC minister sits in the dais where your ideologue, Dravida Kalaham's current president, Ki Viramani, says, Sanadana Dharma means Hinduism. Your ideologue says, can you give a condemnation statement against Mr. Ki Viramani, stating Sanadana Dharma is not Hinduism, which is what you are telling. In the stage when he is saying Sanadana Dharma is Hinduism, and your son in the same stage wants to abolish Sanadana Dharma, which is Hinduism. What was your HRNC minister sitting in the stage who has violated every single oath he has taken to become a minister? Now, Mr. Chief Minister, please understand. Your lies will not keep working. You live, you live in the age-old premise that a thousand lie which is getting repeated 10,000 times will become thousand truth. Here it is not going to happen. The people of Tamil Nadu has seen you, has seen the historic corruption that you have brought into the administration, has seen your family dominating the Tamil Nadu administration, your son and son-in-law swindling money. We have leveled very serious allegations against you, including the release of PTR tapes, where we said on record, your previous finance minister talking about your son and son-in-law amazing close to 30,000 crore. The Madras High Court a few days back has said that the mere continuation of Sindhil Balaji as a minister is violating all democratic ethos and norms that is required for a good governance. Still, you have kept him as a minister. And the taxpayers are giving him salary. What are you talking about probity and governance? Nobody is afraid of Indi Alliance, sir. All of us wanted Indi Alliance because once Indi Alliance comes, people of India will see the dynast, the corrupt, the cabals, the elitist, the family-run parties all sitting in one high table. It is like Judas trying to go after the Christ, after the Great Supper. If I can quote you from one thing, from a religion which your son said belongs to, Sanadana Dharma, by its very nature, it accommodates everybody. In Sanadana Dharma, Christian faith, Muslim faith, Sikh faith, any other faith is as important as a Hindu faith. That is how the government of India, that is how the Honorable Prime Minister, that is how Narendra Modi ji, 
has has been doing the administration for the last nine years plus. Please don't leave any indications that you don't know about. So the coming election we have challenged you. Let us fight on Sanadana Dharma. Let DMK say it is going to abolish Sanadana Dharma. We will say we will protect and preserve Sanadana Dharma. We will see where people of Tamil Nadu are going to vote. Because we know the DMK drama for the last many years. After you come to power, the first year is opposing Sanadana Dharma. Second year, you say abolishing the Sanadana Dharma. Third year, third year, you want to brutally root out Sanadana Dharma. Fourth year, you say you are a Hindu. You say 90% of DMK party men are Hindu. Fifth year, you take a veil to say you are also a Hindu. So this drama Tamil Nadu has seen for the last many, many decades. When elections comes, you suddenly become an Amar and an Akbar and an Antony, which Mr. Rahul Gandhi ji, for the last 17 failed attempts, is trying to do the same thing, becoming Amar in one state, becoming Akbar in one state, becoming Antony in one state. The people of India and the people of Tamil Nadu and the whole of Bharat have read into your elitist, cabal, family-oriented, corrupt practices. Come 2024, DMK as a party is going to get wiped out. I didn't say it, your son said it. Because D stands for Dengu, M stands for Malaria and K stands for Kosu. Good luck, sir.